What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas. And we're going to take a look at what I consider to be one of the shortest luxury fifth wheels you can buy. Now, I say that because, you know, this Redwood, that DRV, the Grand Design, the Montanas, they're all huge and they're all considered luxury fifth wheels. But you typically don't see them in this length or this size. That's still a full profile. So this is going to be an interesting one. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so before we get started, if you enjoy the videos I put out, if you enjoy the RV content, the truck content, the towing information, the towing accessories, RV accessories, all of that stuff, please take a quick moment, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button right there below the video. It lets me know that you like the content I put out, that you enjoy what I'm, I'm providing you, and, uh, and more than anything, it helps support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it, thank you. So, let's take a look at the numbers. Gross vehicle weight rating, 16,000 pounds. So this thing's a heavy bad boy considering it's 35 feet 8 inches long. So it's a very short fifth wheel in terms of a full profile wide body fifth wheel. This is going to have a cargo capacity of 3,193 pounds. It's going to ride on twin 7,000 pound axles and it's going to have G-rated tires on it. So a lot of good stuff going on here. But yeah, is this, uh, is this going to be the perfect luxury fifth wheel for you? Let's check it out. So we're gonna start from the inside, then we'll come back out to the outside and see what's all about. I know everyone wants to see the inside first. So this is the Van Lee Volano. Van Lee is a division of Tiffin. And this is the 320 GK. So yeah, anytime you see 320 on an RV, it's usually gonna be a pretty small RV if it's a fifth wheel. All right, so we're going up the Lippert solid steps to see the interior of this Volano. So the color may not be your color because it's certainly not my color, but they make this interior in all sorts of different colors, including one of my favorite, which is the white linen. I think that's absolutely beautiful. This right here is a color that you may absolutely love, especially if you have a log cabin or if you're into this shade of, of oak, I guess, or maple, but I'm just not a big fan of it personally. But I'm gonna, Give it a pass because I know you can get this in other colors. So that's the main reason why I'm not going to focus so much on the colors. All right, we'll start from, I guess, this area, work our way back and around, then to the front. So you guys may or may not be aware that I did a six-month evaluation on a Vanley Beacon, which is the step up from the Volano. But it's not a huge step up. You get full body paint. There's a lot of other little features baked into it. But the Volano is still considered a pretty high-end luxury fifth wheel. And when we get to the price, which is here on the table in a second, you'll kind of see why. Actually, we can probably talk about that now. So this is going to have an MSRP of $133,527. Now, some of you may say that's actually not that expensive compared to some RVs that are out there now. Keep in mind, this unit is very short. It's a very small fifth wheel, so or at least a very short fifth wheel. It's still very, very tall, full profile roof, very wide, very well appointed, but it's not as long as some fifth wheels that typically carry a price like that. Anyways, let's start from here and work our way around. So real tile, that's a big one. The backsplash behind everything is real tile. Here's your coffee station location. I panned up so you can see that there is power. Great spot for that. Nice cabinetry here, all soft closing. Soft closing drawers and cabinets. Cabinets also have these really, really nice little cables that prevent them from hitting things when they open. I really like that. I wish other manufacturers would adopt that. Even brands like DRV don't do that. Magnetic holds, all real wood cabinets. Just everything in here is extremely residential, probably better than a lot of homes even have. LG full residential refrigerator with a really nice latching system here to keep the door shut while you're driving. More storage up top. Coming around this way, you have your Insignia upgraded four burner stove spot that everyone seems to think this is a spot for a garbage compactor, but I don't really know what this is a spot for, so I just know that there's power down there, and you know, it's interesting because I've seen it on just about every Van Lee I've reviewed. Nice cabinet storage, convection microwave from Insignia. 
really, really nice farm style sink. A lot of storage, and again, everything's soft closing. So your gut wants you to push it shut, but then you have to realize that they're higher end than that. You just need to let them close on their own. So this is typically a spot where if you upgrade and opt for a dishwasher, this is where it would go. You have two power outlets right there. Nice drawers. Nice panoramic fire style fireplace. JBL sound system underneath. This does have a televator, so the TV goes down here and raises up right here. Has nice day-night roller shades, blackout blinds all throughout. Nice soft closing cabinetry. A lot of people say I say this wrong. They're supposed to be self-closing, but soft closing. I don't know. It's, you get the point, so I guess it really doesn't matter how you say it. Do these flip up? They do not. Very nice balances. This is kind of a, a staple of how the folks over at Van Lee build their RVs, that they actually use a wood backer behind the wall here. So all of your cabinets are incredibly strong. They're held on very well with these little angle iron clips that screw into both a wood backer as well as a cabinet. Probably the best balances in the industry. Nice blinds here. You have your shade beneath it, and then you have your blackout blind on top of it. Huge windows. I don't believe these are dual pane windows. Nice furniture, and this is all Franklin residential furniture. So you're getting a really, really good quality, super comfortable. Of every RV I've ever been in, I can honestly say the Beacon that we had and every you know Van Lee product I've been in probably has the most comfortable furniture I've ever sat in. Very, very good stuff. This is a full height of bed. So this folds out into almost a king size bed. This uses the spider control system for lighting and everything. What that basically means is there's a smart panel up front there, touchscreen, and everything connects to it like these, all your switches wirelessly, which is really nice. And it also controls your generator if you have one, your air conditioning units, lighting, um, your water heater, all of that. Right here is your Franklin theater style seating. More cabinets. I love how the slide heights are super tall, but then they make the cabinets at a good level so you can easily reach down and open them up. Love the little sconce right there. That is super cool. Very nice dinette area. Nice solid surface countertop on top of the, uh, the dinette area. Then you have your two folding chairs back there. And then up top here, you have more wood accents around everything. I believe this RV has two air conditioning units in it. It might actually have three, so I'll check it out in a little bit. Here's your spider control panel right here. This is a touchscreen panel that turns everything on and off, like I mentioned. These are sensors for your thermostat. Coming up the stairs, into the bathroom. Nice one-piece shower stall with slide bar for your wand. Over here you have really nice undermount, solid surface countertop and sink. Very nice, all magnetic holds. A lot of storage in here. Porcelain foot flush toilet, along with a bidet or a sprayer or, honestly, I don't think that's so much like a bidet. I think that's more like a toilet bowl cleaner. So you can spray out the toilet bowl. That's my opinion though. Coming into the master bedroom, you have your memory foam bamboo mattress, one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on in an RV. I love the little nightstands. They look absolutely beautiful. And then you also have wireless controls over here so you can turn off all the lights, turn them on. It's just a really good setup. Nice cabinetry up here as well. Really good size closet, wardrobe storage. Slides open. So if you have a washer and dryer stackable unit, they can go in here. On the beacon we had, I demonstrated, of course, the uh, Splendid washer and dryer setup. More wardrobe storage right here. And this flips up. And then you have your TV here as well. Very cool. Nice Wayne's coating here. This just looks awesome. I mean, again, the color, not a big fan of. Um, like the fact that they use a padded ceiling. Very, very motorhome-like, but again, with that Tiffin heritage, um, you can expect to see a lot of motorhome-type features in a Beacon or a Van Lee Volano product. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? Let's check out the outside of this unit. 
Okay, so starting from the front, this does have the Kurt Rotaflex front pin box, big rubber bushing right here. This rotates, helps control and dampen some of the shock and vibration from the trailer to the truck and the truck to the trailer. Wide body design. Up front here is where you would have your generator if it came equipped with one. Nice thick doors as well. A lot of space in there if you want to use it for storage. This is also where your batteries would be in your hydraulic system. Nice slam latches, propane storage, 30 pounds on each side. Nice thick doors. This does ride on an eight inch drop frame on a 12 inch main beam, aluminum bath deck up top. Does have a road vac as well. You can put your TV out here and you have power and cable going to it. All right, coming around 50th anniversary for Tiffin. Underneath, 12 inch I-beam frame, rack and pinion slide, road armor suspension, heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. This is a good setup down here. This has Westlake G-rated tires also. Coming around back. If you go to a larger unit, it'll have a 10 inch drop frame versus the eight. They base the uh, size of your drop frame I-beam on the size of the actual RV. Beautiful, beautiful sidewalls. Very, very good materials. They actually uh, build one of the best sidewalls in the industry. It's a hung wall versus a laminated wall. Nice frameless windows all the way around. LED lighting, four inch tubular bumper on the back. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera as well. Coming around this side. It does have a power cord reel right here. Again, a lot of features that are more reminiscent of high-end units versus the standard units that you might see on a lot. That's why these carry such a high price. But again, the, the price that you saw on that paper is actually not the price they sell it for. It'd be much less than that. Here's your vent above the, uh, above the stove. You'd wanna make sure that's open if you're gonna be cooking anything. Right here is the outside of your water heater, outside of your furnace. And then in here is a lot of magic that they put together. First of all, electric dump valves from Valterra. So you have electric valves as opposed to the pull ones. You have all your water connections, whole house water filtration. They even put your water pump in here because your water pump is one of the mechanical pieces that has a higher likelihood of failing. So instead of burying it somewhere inside of your RV that's hard to get to, they put it in a very convenient, easy to service location. It's all aluminum as far as this and they've cut out all of the wording here, which is really nice. Plus they've separated it from this space altogether. So if there's water that sprays out, you're not gonna get anything in your front storage wet. You can really appreciate some of the detail they put into how they build these Van Lee products. Very cool. Then your other propane tank's gonna be right there. Anyways, what do you guys think? In terms of compact luxury, this is what a lot of people are looking for. They're looking for something that they're willing to pay a lot more for, but something that's a lot smaller to fit into, you know, national parks, places that are a little harder to fit larger units into. And uh, you get a lot for your money with the Van Lee product. But also keep in mind though, it's relatively heavy. You wanna make sure you have the right truck. And something like this, you're gonna to wanna to have at least 4,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity to be able to support the pin weight of this RV when it's fully loaded up, plus all the people and everything that are inside of the truck, because you don't wanna go over those numbers. You always wanna double check. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.